Gary V's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich I remember when I was at college, I happened to be the best student in the class and also a political leader. So, I was one of the most famous people then on campus. But there was one other area where I was the best and that is, I was the cheapest or one of the cheapest person among my mates. I used my brother's used clothes and I used my father's Nokia phone. Seeing some of my mates buying very expensive phones made me wonder why it was that important at that stage of life. When I got to the business world, immediately after I ran away from school, I only had to continue my normal way of life. For 8 years, I hardly bought any fancy thing. Every dollar I got was to be invested to my business and I did that even till the time I was making more money than almost everyone. But there's a big surprise I always have and that is most people are not patient enough for their seed to reproduce more fruits. In this video, I'll explain to you what I mean by this and I'll share with you one of the most important advice from Gary V. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing, Gary V said, your lack of patience is killing you and your need of things is killing you. Your inability to replant a part of your harvest is the reason why you may never have enough. Your lack of patience, which pushes you to want to enjoy now, is the reason why you may work on the job you hate for the rest of your life. Your insecurity, which pushes you to compare what you have with what others have, is the reason why you may never be happy. The Need to Enjoy Now Some time ago, we made a video here on our channel and something in that video challenged people who earn money to spend it all and while reading through the comments, because we read every comment on our videos, I read the comment of someone who said, why should I work hard if I can't enjoy myself? I understand that most people think that way but here's the thing, if you have the opportunity to spend $100 today or get $1,000 in the next 10 months, which will you choose? If you have the opportunity to choose between spending $1,000 today and having $3,000 in the next 10 months, which will you choose? Now, if you have the opportunity between spending $100,000 today and having a million dollars in the next 5 years, which will you choose? For most people, today is the only day that exists and thinking of making sacrifices for tomorrow is just dumb. Your lack of patience is killing you and your need of things is killing you. Fake Pleasure As at time of making this video, I live in an average apartment in my city. Though I make more money than most people who live in the exotic areas of my city, I decided not to go and live there because for the last 11 years, my goal has been to reinvest almost every dollar I make. The only thing I can afford after my monthly investment is just the ordinary things which my family needs. But I think I'm enjoying myself than most people. I'm enjoying myself because I have spent the last 11 years of my life to make sacrifices and build assets that now give me the freedom most people can never have in their entire life. These people wake up every 5.30 am to rush to a particular office waste 3 to 6 hours of their life on traffic every day, hiss and murmur all through the day because they hate their jobs. Yet, when they get the paycheck, the first thing to do is to look for the latest shoes, bags and phones. They cannot buy a $3,000 Toyota because they are big boys so they take a loan to ride a $30,000 car. They cannot live in a small house at the cheapest part of the city because that will make them look poor. They instead go for the exotic homes with high mortgage. If you think this is the real pleasure of life, I don't think so. What I consider the real pleasure of life is freedom. Freedom to do what you love to do, the way you love to do it, with whomever you like to do it with. Until a man is free, you shouldn't buy gold because chains and gold are not compatible. Until a man is free, you shouldn't buy a new car because the luxury and captivity aren't compatible. Until a man is free, he shouldn't live in a big home because a big home and an empty bank account are not compatible. 
Your lack of patience is killing you and your need of things is killing you. What I believe I've seen a lot of people who believe that life is to be enjoyed and I agree with these people perfectly. You see, life is tough. It's a jungle. We all face terrible situations in our life and the only way to compensate ourselves for those high mountains we climb every day is to sit back and enjoy ourselves. However, while I agree that we all have to enjoy life, I disagree with when that enjoyment should be. You see, I read a quotation that changed my life when I was growing up and I'll plead to you to write this quotation down and paste it where you see it every day. It goes something like, if you will spend 5 years of your life the way nobody will, you will enjoy the rest of your life the way nobody can. This quote is the guiding principle of my life. Yes, I love to enjoy. Yes, I love big cars and latest phones. Yes, I want to live in the most beautiful area of my city. But I think I first need to build enough assets that will buy me all these stuff or else I'll work hard all my life simply to impress others. I never wanted to work hard to buy a new car. I never wanted to work hard to pay for a house. I never wanted to work like a slave just because I want to post a photo of my watch on Instagram. I want my assets to buy me all those toys and that means that I have to spend many years to build the assets first. Your lack of patience is killing you and your need of things is killing you. Working to live big In the next few years, I'll be retiring from active business life and I'll just be about 40 years old. It means that I'll spend 30 to 40 years of my remaining life doing any stupid thing I want. This may be working for a charity I love, speaking around the world or killing the innocent fishes in my village river. Just anything. This is only possible for me because I decided to sacrifice a decade of my life working to build assets that can make me money for the rest of my life. Most people in our world today are simply working to live big. I beg you, don't do that. Instead, I plead to you to work for the freedom. I wish you can work for assets. I wish you can say no to the liabilities. I wish you can see beyond today. I wish you can deny yourself the toys everyone is buying. I wish you can invest the money other people use to buy the toys they never need. I wish you can use such money to buy good books, training programs and investment that will give you a great tomorrow. Your lack of patience is killing you and your need of things is killing you. Don't allow your need of things to kill you. Save, learn about investment or entrepreneurship and make sacrifices for your future. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.